hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel so in today's video we are going to be working on this shoe poster right hand pixel app we are going to be creating this design right hand pixel app so you'll be getting access to the plp file for the plp file will be coming with all the elements i used in this tutorial so you'll be getting access to that while for the rest we'll be doing the rest with pixel app so without wasting much of our time guys let's get started so real quick i'm going to disable um, the original design which i also had to take it like room so i'm going to disable that so you can see this is my plain background so since it's a plp file you should actually get that but just to show you i did that this is what i did you can see the um gradients section here at the bottom here you can see that and that is that i just picked um the color from the um from the main shoe that's what i used so i actually take a gradient to this format so that that particular point can be you know glowing so that is that for that so the next thing you need to do is to import your shoe png so i'll just do that real quick so this is what you do since you need to position it to um for it to be at um this and the left and the bit so originally you're going to have it like this just around real quick so this is it and all you need to do well, if you're not getting the accurate thing here is just to make sure you um readjust everything yeah, just a little bit so i'll just do that real quick just make sure yours is in a position well with mine so i'll just do that real quick so this is it this is where it is so i'll just lock this layer so i won't tamper with this anymore so now this is the next thing which we have to do here you can see that, that part is you know a little bit glowing let me just um show you guys what i did you can see that you can see that so i've actually um sh shown you guys multiple times how i create this glowing effect in pixel app i've done this over and over again so all you need to do is to select the shape i normally use a circle shape then go to gradient so once you've gone to gradient for this this um original position will be here so you click on this drop icon here and whatever color is here just make sure you put that this end to make it transparent then i'll you know move this all the way to the middle here then for the second gradient format here should be white so that is how that i did that okay let me just leave this here since i'll still use it so i increase the size increase the size like this and i place it all the way to the back so you can see that's what i did since i've duplicated it twice that's why it's actually glowing more so i'll just um, undo this okay still let me place it in front since i still need it so since the size is still like this this is what i did you can if you check from the main um story you can see that part was a little bit glowing so i duplicated this as much as possible all right so i'll duplicate it again I'll duplicate this again and I would uh, place I'll just I'm just resizing this you know you can actually do this the way you want I think I'm not following what I did but this is actually how I did this so I'll just place this here as well okay yes this is it yes still it I'll just place this here as well and bring it down let's be touching the shoe part a little bit so the next thing I did here was this main um uh, background which you see in your in the PLP file so once you've done that you just make sure it is at the bottom end here just bring it all the way down to it's at the bottom end here centralize this so what i did is i changed the i was going to filter and i changed the um the u to 178 i went all the way to 178 i did i made the saturation to be 25 sorry to be minus 25 rather i did that for the saturation okay i also touched the brightness to minus 36 Okay, I think I'm going to did I actually touch this brightness? Okay, yes, I did that. And I move the contrast all the way to eight. So I'll just touch on this and I'll click on erase background. Okay, yes, that's done that as the background has erased already. So that's that. And I reduce the opacity for this thing which I just did all the way to five. Okay, I think let me yes, let me just still leave it at let me leave that five first. I did that and I'll log this layer again. So here's another thing i did so let me use a grid line okay the line is already here so you duplicate this your shoe i want to create a reflection for this you duplicate this your shoe okay it's already there so i'll go to 3d rotate now i'll move the x to all the way to 180 and i'll bring this down i'll bring this down you can see the grid line is still there this grid line is still here so help me guess what i'm doing i'll bring this down it's touching the tip of this okay i think it's okay yes that is okay and the opacity for this will be will be 10 so you can see you can actually increase the opacity the way you want but i actually knew that once i started editing in lightroom um that shoe png i just duplicated will come out more so i'll just leave that at that and i'll lock the layer for for that okay it's not it's not position on the back so sorry about that position this to the back 
okay position this to back and i'll lock this layer i'm actually not seeing this again but this is what i did you can increase your opacity if you're not okay with that okay i'll leave that 13 and i'll lock the layer for for that so i'll duplicate the background which we did which is this i'll duplicate this just hold on i'll copy this i've copied that so i'll rotate this all the way like this just follow what i'm doing i'll rotate this quickly and i'll position it here as well i'll position it here as well and i'll place it to the back i'll reduce the opacity also i think it was 10 yes i'll reduce the opacity to 10 okay so now you can see that this um, part is actually not blurring perfectly so all you need to do is to duplicate this white effect blur effect you created just position it to the parts that you are still seeing this stuff um the background which you duplicated so which is here you can see one at the top here so i'll duplicate it again actually i don't think it's necessary if i duplicate it again okay i think the blur effect is too much now on the shoe because it's, they are all too near so let me just push this in a little bit push this in a little bit let me just lock this up and um okay i think some are still okay yes it's not locked so let me go back to my main design and see what i have here so i've done the main the most important thing here so let me just check this out just hold on just hold on i would um okay my shadow my shadow is not here so i'll just where's my shadow I, I think it was here okay it's here so your shadow is actually the just under the main shoe that's where it should be my shadow is under the main shoe and i rotated this shadow I did this I wrote it to my sorry 25 25 yes I went to color and I picked the color for this okay you can see the color X code here this is the color X code here so just do you have to write that out that's the color X code I use for this shadow I also reduced the opacity for the shadow to 70 I reduced the opacity for the of this shadow to 70 so I place that here okay the only layer is not locked so let me just look for that real quick. You can actually try your, you know, keep on duplicating this blur effect, but I don't want it to be that too much. So the next thing I'll do is to start importing all my text. All right, I think I saw something now which wasn't here, which is this. This is it. This is it. The original color is not this. Um, so let me just tell you the. Okay, this is the original color. So I went with this color. So the first first part of the gradient, which is here. You can copy the color code here. This is it. And for the second part of the gradient, which is here, which you can copy the color code here. This second part of the gradient. So that is that. So it just I just position this. Okay. It's actually going to the back of the blow effect, but it's actually still okay. If you want it to be at the top, you can I just position this here. So like I said, it's terrible not hard. So the next thing which we are going to do here is to start importing all our text. So the reason why I gave you guys that as a P um, POP is because that is, I don't want to waste much time in this tutorial, and of course, everybody should know how to you know impute the text when using Pixel Lab. So, the first one, let me start from down here. Okay, this is not exactly not showing, so this is not important. Let me start from the down here, which is this, this, and this. So, you can see this is what I did for these three that are down here. This is what I just did. The font for this is Akin 9. The font for this is Akin 9. That's what I use for boots. Um, for boot fonts future and then um, wear your that's what i use for boot fonts so the color uh gradient for this the first part of this for the feature the first part of this the color code is this go ahead and copy that and write that out the second one is this this is it go ahead and do that so i'll click on ok and i this um black is not entirely black for this wear you this year it's not entirely black so the color code for that was just so done was okay yes you can see the color code is this so you can do that to you know pick that out so the next thing i was just doing was to try um i was trying out on um, playing around with opacity i did that for this yes i think i did that for this I did that for this the font for this is montserrat so the opacity for this okay still 100 but the color code is the same uh one with the one at the top okay it's not it's not actually the same yes this is the color code here for this this is the color code here for this so that is what i did for this for this particular area if you want to get the exact you know measurement you can use this okay sorry this is not locked hold on let me just lock this real quick you can use this section here this the top of this um lace for the shoe you can see where my grid line is so you can see that you can see where my grid line is so you can just do that for yours so i actually think this feature was positioned at the back because we just make sure the feature is positioned at the back because of this blow 
yes the back because of this blow effect so it's touching the future a bit so let me just I've actually, this is actually complete so let me just you know real quick import all my text everyone using pixel lab should be able to do this should be able to do this yes that's right so for this particular one this you can do this with your phone this is what i did i just use hyphen to do that let me show you real quick this is it this is it this is it so this is what i did i went back down and did this again so that's just that that's what i did so that is that for that i positioned that there did the next thing which is this everyone using pixel app should be able to do this at least yes you should try this out yourself too everyone using pixel app should be able to do this these are just text so for you can, you can see this part this area here this area here i what i did was to duplicate this text and reduce the opacity for this okay i didn't take the size for this um text but since i think the size is there already since it's already a pop file the size for this is 85 the size for future should be 85 too it's five as well okay i can't get okay features and down size for future shares is also eight five so um that is that for that so for this part the size for this is 54 for this part here size for this part is 54 54 so i reduced the opacity for this particular part here and the opacity was five so five so, okay the opacity was five five and this icon which was here this element was here that i duplicated this the opacity also was five um this is this are your text available color you can do this yourself unless you're speaking you can do this yourself so the next thing which i did here was this so this is it this is what i did all you need to do is to you can see let me show you this is what i did so once you've done this particular stuff you just go to curve I duplicated that where's my curve okay this is it minus 100 why the top the top this top you know this is the there are two i duplicated this one two so the top is plus 100 down is minus 100 so you just need to position it there the way it is that is actually that for that and then the font for this is um for the m l l l is bitrate this one in the middle the font for this is bitrate so the last one is actually this which is the shop now in order to do this this is actually simple these are just two circle shapes these are just two circle shapes so what we did here was for the back of the circle shape is the same gradient color which we have picked from the um for the feature which is that so the opacity for for um the uh, the orange circle gradient was um 60 and the white on top of it the opacity for that was 30. so i just duplicate the same font for shop now was akin 9 the same font for shop now was akin 9. so that is actually of that i did for this like i said the is not add at all all you need to learn very well is your how to fade in pixel about how to blend so that's just the main thing we did in this tutorial so you can actually see um it once again you can actually see it's yes that is that for that like i said it's not add so that's that for that so guys if you found this helpful can you like share and subscribe and do it to let me know the kind of tutorial you like to create this my channel thank you for staying very much to the end thank you so much i truly appreciate it. i'll see you guys in my next tutorial